pregnancy changes week 10 pregnancy changes week 10 the changes that happen when you are pregnant and you are at week 10 tugenda kuogera ku enchoka choka eziberawo oboli rukuto atenga oweseza week ye 10 oba week 10 katugeze je miezi ebiri so without further ado we shall go straight away to our communication for today after this message hello welcome to our channel i'm gerard master the health educator on this channel we talk about pregnancy related questions we answer all your pregnancy related questions we also do talk about conditions including fertility infertility endometriosis endometritis and also we do discuss issues regarding polycystic ovarian syndrome let me know if you have any questions and welcome for today's lesson you are most welcome and stay with me today as we talk about today's topic welcome during week 10 the first first important points we need to take into consideration are that there are three changes that are happening to the growing fetus the first change is that the baby's tooth buds are forming the baby's tooth buds are forming the tooth buds are specifically those tiny spots where the teeth we will grow later on at around six months so at week 10 specifically we are looking at you are in week three of your month so what happens is that the baby's tooth buds begin forming the next is that the kidneys and the stomach become functional the kidneys begin their function of uh, excretion and of course uh, filtration of like waste products whereas the the stomach begins producing digestive juices and then the next thing is that the bones begin to form the bones and the cartilage begin to form at week 10 to get to look at a concho kachoka is better oh my child over a little bit oh got a a little week a year kumi to gambi and tv and to be satu they begin a moment so my week over mom is a go satu a chiso kachiri in tea a man you will again look around the camera to cheat a tooth buds but and what and the car or kubanga before minga ku mwezo gokusatu a manyo gomwana gata and kubanga ga for minga nete ga flu mirao or wunto or vita with tooth buds we put and dika and then uh or wuto romwana do tani gok for minga a kabutoke ga gendo kubanga kwasi so wulam wewona kata and gok for minga ne sigo the kidneys bizita and diko kubanga zikola omoga so guazo and then nama gumba kata and diko kufo minga wa obu gumba obu gendo kubeda mubiri gomwa na gona gona buta and diko kufo minga wabaita bones and cartilage so in summary at week 10 ewe ntubi satu yibigenda mumaso e jinte chisoka chidinti orubuto romwana luta and diko kubanga lu producing juices Ensigo zomwa na zita ndiko kubanga zise engeja Oba zita ndiko omulimo guazo And then nechidala chidi nti amanyo gata ndiko kufuominga So we are talking about the pregnancy changes that happen at week 10 And we are saying that there are three cardinal changes we need to take into note The first is that the baby's stomach begins producing digestive juices These will help later on when the child is born with digestion and then also the baby's kidneys begin their function and then also the baby's bones and teeth begin forming so we are talking about week 10 pregnancy changes let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments i will answer all your questions and having talked about the changes that happen at week 10 we are going to talk about the other changes that happen with the pregnant mother you will notice that there will be an increase in your stomach size there will be a slight increase in your tummy you can see this in the mirror and you also if at all you have been having issues with uh, digestion you notice that there will be reduced digestion specifically this is due to uh, the smooth muscles relaxing so the digestive process actually kind of like slows down and that's why we end up with lots of bloating and gas kuliko gira kuncho kachoka ezituka kumichara wabanga alirubuto atenga rudiku wiks 
uh, kumi obanga olimu mwezi ogoku satu nukindu kula banti nchuka chuka ebeda o mo digestion oba mo mbeda eyo kulia emere nukindu kula banga olubuto uluwe yongiru kubanga lujula lubeda mo gas mwenji tujita bloating chino chivanyo kubanti omchala waba afunyo olubuto ngari mwezi ogoku satu embera eyo kubanga kwe gamba digestion ye etambula obulungi enyama zinoze baita smooth muscles ezili mu byenda ezili relaxing oba zibate zikolanga we zibade zikolanga toli rubuto so waberawo digestion okubanga te tetambula bulungi so ku mwezo gwo kusatu nechirala oja kulaba anti uh, nausea and vomiting ye yongera so the other changes that happen at week 10 are that there will be Actually, nausea, there will be vomiting, but this tend to reduce. And remember, you can easily manage this by getting some little ginger, adding some water, uh, maybe warm water, and then you take. If the nausea and vomiting increases, then you may need to talk to your doctor who will advise or prescribe you some anti-nausea medications. And also, the other thing we need to handle is that Constipation is going to take place. Omuchara wabali dubuto ngani mwezo goku satu. Wabeda uo chibaita constipation. Obuzivu umu kufuruma. Chino chibaita nyo mkubanti kwe gamba. O changes is no digestive system mga wetu gambi. Ziba dizi taking the place. So entambula ye mede ebeda affected. The biggest cause of constipation in pregnancy at week 10 is that the, since the digestive system has been slowed down, by the slowing of the smooth muscles in the intestines or in your stomach, you notice that the rate, the speed at which the food was being churned or uh, was being was moving through the whole system slows down a bit. So you can handle the constipation by simply focusing on diet, focusing on vegetables, focusing on uh, lots of fruits these can be dried fruits they can also be fresh fruits and then also drinking plenty of water and exercising oku handling changes is no mu rubuto za constipation obo kubanga omuchala tafuruma bulunji ali olubuto olwemeze satu oyino kubanga okola ebintu bino amanga oyino ku making sure anti okola exercises tokola exercises za kuduka making sure anti otambula tambula mu osobola ku swimming obo manyo ku swimming osobola kubanga ate otambula mu mu compound it simple walks in the neighborhood ate ne chirala osobola kubanga at least onywa ku mazinga manji drink plenty of water to manage constipation naturally or you know you eat more of fruits and vegetables uh, these fruits can be dried or they can be fresh fruits uh, you know kosa nyo fruit sezo ziba zigenda kuyamba ko nyo katugeze emiyembe obutunda apples mangoes ziba zigenda kuba zikuyamba ko nyo so uh, the biggest symptoms at week 10 are uh, fatigue amanyo kubanga kakukende demo nausea and vomiting Okubanga bilisero ya galo kusesema, food cravings and aversions, emere ebade ekuomera, oba emere emu ogendo kulaba angato cha jagala, ebintu ebi alibi kuomera, walio ya gana nyengoko, na yo ogendo kulaba angate nkoko, to ya gana nakuchi, nakuchi unyira kwa eba jifombira. So, the next is that heartburn and indigestion. Heartburn and indigestion are also among the biggest changes that happen, and specifically, this is due to the hormone, also known as progesterone. So, uh, heartburn and indigestion specifically can also be managed by eating small meals, making a sure to olia of many nenga butini, wegaba matokolia yoko ku two fingers of bananas, and then of course no banga. You eat small meals, but you eat often. You eat small meals, but you eat often. Ok, making a sure to olia of many butini, nengo olia uh, imirundu minji orunako. Next is bloating and gas. To gambi enti bloating and gas. Geza konyo okulabanga waweta nita efi intunga fruits. Eat more of uh, fruits and then avoid foods that can trigger gas uh, to handle uh, bloating and gas in pregnancy. Making a sure anti tolia emere ereta gas enyinji enyo katugeze sodas, uh, katugeze uh, legumes, for example, groundnuts, and then also concentrated milk, making a sure and token desakwebi ebi to reduce foods that bring up uh, lots of gas and bloating, for example, sodas, uh, legumes, for example, groundnuts, and then concentrated milk. You can always try to dilute this milk by mixing it with porridge. Next 
changes that uh, happen uh, during week 10 is that there will be increased vaginal discharge over uh, ebikuvamo mu bitundi byechama obera ya mazi amazi za gavayo wansigaba geyongera and increased vaginal discharge can be managed by putting on your panty liners this can help uh, with the increased vaginal discharge and then also there will be increased occasional headaches occasional headaches gwe kubanga omuto gukuluma episode bimu ate episode bimu nga tugukuluma so geza konyo okulabanga webaka mukasenga kali dark you can actually uh, lie in a dark room and put on a cold compress on your face or neck and take fresh air breaks how can you manage occasional headaches uh, in pregnancy week 10 you can you lie down in a dark room wewe kemakasenga kali dark and then put on a cold compress on your face or neck and then take fresh air breaks making sure and at least ogula madinisa then inobanga ofuruma muko wabweru ngo hito hita mulyango wewe kemakasenga kali dark take aka echinyo echinyo goga ku face yo cold compress and then uh, lumala fuma kwa weru wo funa ku fresh air ngate wo dayo we bakama kasenga kali dark ngate osobola kuteka ko neka slow music kabaka yamba ko so we are talking about the pregnancy changes at week 10 and we are saying that there will be also faintness and dizziness but it's said okubanga olira ka munguluze so making a sure and at least ogeza konyo kulabanga onywa ebyo kunywa binji katugeze amazi and then geza konyo okulabanga amazi ago sobola kuteka mu kasukali katini to make sure that your body gets enough glucose to manage dizziness and faintness specifically be sure to sit or lie down as soon as you feel lightheaded so that you don't fall whenever you are moving and you are pregnant you are at week 10 and you get the dizziness and the faintness uh, just make sure that you don't continue moving just sit down and the dizziness spell will go away the, the dizziness will go away and specifically uh, you will feel much better so bulirobanga olikulira kamunguluze atengo lirubuto katugezo bado limukutambulo limukubo nofuna kamunguluze oyo just make sure that otula mu chifechi mu obafuna awantu otula ko obosobola kusaba katebe no funa wantu otula ko ndeni oja kulaba nti at least kamunguluzo ya kendera next is that there will be visible veins visible veins kwa chitegeza emisua okubanga ji kwereze ko uh, waboli rubuto chino cho uh, the increased visible veins on your body normally are uh, due to the increased blood volume when a woman gets pregnant her blood volume increases by at least 50% of the normal blood you used to have because we know that the normal hb level is supposed to be 10 up to uh, 15 that is 10 up to 15 millimoles in uh, women whereas in men it is basically 11 up to 18 millimoles so in pregnancy the blood volume increases when you are seeing these visible veins there's nothing you can do but just wait be patient they will disappear just wait they will disappear bulido bango finyo rubuto emisuwa nejibanga jikwereze ko enyo oba emisuwa jinonga olijira wakumo virigo tichikwela likiriza emisuwa jino jiri kuvanti jiva kuvanti omuchala wabiro rubuto omusayi gwe yongera by 50 percent why because ogenda okuvanga at least walabirira omwano na liokula so that's why omusuwa omusayi guno kutambula mgwe yongera Emisuwa jino jibanga jeleze ngo jiraba jikuli mabere, jikuli mkumiku, mchifuba, jikuli kurubuto, jikuli maguru. Uh, Tuwela likitila, just wait and they will disappear. Jima la neji, 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 neji disappear ringa, omobili gonga gumaze okubanga getting used to the whole process. And then, owa osoburo kufuna chabaita round ligament pain when you are pregnant and you are at week 10, there will be what you call round ligament pain. So, Specifically, this pain is due to the increase in your uterine size. Oba, obulumi vuno, obukubanga, mchi watu, obuli obulumi vunji nyo. Specifically, waduo a muscles jabaita ligament, waduo jabaita round ligament, broad ligament, and a suspensory ligament. There are, there are actually three specific ligaments in your pelvic region. There's what we call the round ligament, the broad ligament, and the suspensory ligament. The ligaments are muscles that hold your uh, reproductive system the uterus uh, in position the uterus plus the ovaries and the fallopian tubes in position so 
round ligaments bwe bunyama obukwata nabana yo okubanga ebera mu position kati nabana webe liko yongera okuzi okubanga ye yongera mu size omwana nga wakula ojja kulaba anti ligaments zino ba enyama zino zina kibaita nerves ogenda kulaba nga pain yeno ebera onyinji nyo the best thing to do is get off your feet and get moving so buliroba nga ulira pain yeno to sigala mu kifo kimungo tudde geza ko kulaba nga oyimuka otambule tambule muko so uh, we are talking about the tips for you this week what are you supposed to do uh, when you are in week 10 pregnant make sure that you take a move take some exercises uh, make sure that you tambula tambula muko we wale emere avoid triggering smells we wale emere ekuletira kubanga obulira bubi katugeze ebyenyanja bye wale obanga bikwisa bubi so the first tip is you should do some small exercises like moving avoid triggering smells we wale ebintu ebikuletira okubanga wandi bado sesema and then get lots of vitamin d you can get vitamin d from fatty fish eggs and fortified dairy products and orange juice these are all good sources of vitamin D. Geza ko kolabanga at least ofuna ku vitamin D. Vitamin D osobola mufuna mu byenyanja, amaji malunji, muchalo olubuto, amata, kastaga bango osobola ga mixinga mo porridge. The milk you should mix it in porridge. Do not take it when it is plain. The main reason is that in most cases because of the 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 the, 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 the hormone progesterone slowing down the digestive process, you can easily end up with bloating and gas. So mix this milk in porridge and then take it in porridge. So and then the other thing is you should add more mangoes eat more mangoes to your diet mangoes are a very rich source of vitamin C they also do contain vitamin A which is good for your eyes and the eyes of the growing baby it also has actually what we call lots of potassium uh, which is very very good for the normal functioning of your uh, cardiovascular system or the heart and of course the kidneys then making a sure that you eat a healthy breakfast and then lastly you can take photos of your pregnancy bump as it is as the baby is growing you can take uh, some photos these are very good for the memory uh, so the next thing is if at all your body is undergoing changes no banga to wuli tabulunji te chiku te to te we stressing enyo as you should just make sure that at least we should take guarantee uh whenever you are feeling all these discomforts just accept it and know that this is a journey you're traveling this is a process you're going through but at the end of the nine months period you'll give birth and you'll go back to your normal uh, self like you were like you are not so sensitive to smells you are not sensitive so sensitive to foods you, you your body size like everything will go back to normal so the take home points for today are that at week 10 when you are pregnant and you are at week 10 the key things are that the baby's teeth buds or tooth buds are forming the baby's stomach is producing digestive juices the kidneys are beginning their function the baby's ankles and knees are beginning to form the baby's the baby's actually the, the, the baby's whole system is beginning to form but specifically here we are looking at the baby's stomach the kidneys and of course also the baby's bones are also beginning to form and we've talked about some of the key things you need to do the channel is Jared Massa, the health educator. My WhatsApp number is plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight seven six plus two five six seven zero one seven nine seven eight and seven six. Connect with me on WhatsApp. Connect with me on this channel, uh, Jared Massa, the health educator. Remember to subscribe. 
for new videos every day we talk about pregnancy changes we talk about women's health let me know if you have any questions thank you for passing by thank you for staying with me for this while and i hope you've learned one thing or two remember to tell a friend to come and subscribe also to our channel Gerard Massa, the health educator, so that they can also learn from this channel. Have yourself a fantastic and healthy day and may God bless us all. Bye-bye.